What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. Today we are talking about Dogecoin and kind of where prices could go from here on Dogecoin. Also why I am going all in on crypto. Yes, I am going all in on cryptocurrency right now you guys, putting all of my cash reserves into my favorite coins and buying up pretty much the entire market. Now, just so you know, the last time that I did this was the COVID drop, March of 2020. It was the last time that I put every single thing that I possibly could into Bitcoin. So yeah, we're seeing a lot of the same market psychology as March of 2020. You should have seen how many people were angry with people that were big picture bullish on crypto at the bottom in March of 2020, or even the bottom in December of 2018. It caused a lot of the crowds to be really angry with big picture investors, people that are bullish big picture. So we're going to be talking about why I'm going all in on crypto today why I see the same opportunity as buying in March of 2020 or even 3K Bitcoin in 2018. So yeah, uh, before we get started though, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me. Also, if you share these videos with your friends, it means a lot to me, uh, especially if you find value in these videos, go ahead and share them with your friends. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's analysis. Starting off here with Dogecoin, the very first thing that I want to point out to you guys is a breakout and downtrending resistance. Now, Bitcoin did this exact same thing back in 2015 when it went from about $180 up to $500. And me and my friends actually went to McDonald's when Bitcoin hit $500. We were hanging out in the parking lot together and we're like, Yo, this is so crazy. Bitcoin's at $500. It's going up so much in value. You know, we've been watching it since it was worth $180. And we were just so excited that Bitcoin broke out. And I knew that that was the beginning of something big. But I had no idea that Bitcoin was going to go to $20,000 at that point, obviously. All I knew is it was a super important part of our lives and that we were having a lot of fun meeting together, talking about Bitcoin and getting excited about the technology. Now, Dogecoin did the exact same thing. We broke out from our bear market in Dogecoin. We went up to 15 cents and we're pulling back down just in the exact same way that Bitcoin pulled back down right there. So the reason why I'm going all in on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and why I'm putting so much money in Dogecoin, actually even adding more for my cash reserves today, is because we broke out of a downtrend. Now, to be quite frankly honest with you, I've been buying Dogecoin since 22 cents right here because that's a 618 level. And according to our trading plan, we buy three very specific levels including the 618 we also buy clear down here at the 88 percent which is tested perfectly but i've been accumulating dogecoin throughout this entire period so i can tell you right away that any investor that's trading short term is definitely going to misunderstand me as a person and the way that we invest on this channel because if they see you buy something and then the market drops lower below that level they automatically assume that you don't know what you're doing but that's not the case at all. The case is that you actually know exactly what you're doing and you've been knowing exactly what you're doing throughout the entirety of the bear market. And you have certain levels that you're accumulating and you really don't care exactly what price it hits. All that you care is that you're increasing your total stack throughout the under valued phase. So there's always an undervalued phase in every single market. 
Once you drop below the 50% retracement, once you're at that 618 level, which is the golden ratio, you begin to be undervalued. Then we often test the 786, if it's a huge bear market, we go to the 88%, right? Some altcoins can even test a 92% retracement. So the goal is not to call the exact bottom. You might buy and then buy and then buy and then buy. And for people that don't understand the way that we trade these markets from the outside looking in, it's gonna look like you're kind of dumb, right? But if you know what you're doing, then you're setting yourself up for long-term success. So we're worth nine cents right now on Dogecoin. This fell right onto our major horizontal support level. I'm not going to try to sit here and tell you what the short term is going to do, right? That's not the point of this channel. That's never was the point of this channel. I can give you ideas of what I think is possible, but if, if it doesn't do that, who cares? This is what we're focused on on our channel. We're focused on the big picture reversals which is also why we've been buying Bitcoin since 3000. In fact, you know, we started buying Bitcoin heavily at 6000 in the last bear market because that was the dot 618 level. And really the strategy that we played during the last bear market is the exact same strategy we're playing through this one. We start buying at the 618 level and we add at the dot 786 and we like to add even more at those lower levels if they're tested. So the same reasons why we were buying Bitcoin at 3000 is the exact same reason why I am buying Dogecoin today at nine cents. Why I'm sticking massive cash reserves into Dogecoin today because of its undervalued phase of its market cycle. And it's not just Dogecoin, you guys. We can go over to many, many projects uh, let's go ahead and, in fact, instead of using Theta Coin, instead of looking at Theta Coin, let's go ahead and find a coin that is also breaking out of its downtrending resistance. So, what coin could be doing that, right? How do we find that? Well, we can do that really easily. We go to CoinMarketCap.com. You can click on the seven-day trend, and it's going to show you coins that are breaking out right now that are doing well right now. And right now you can see Polygon is one of the coins we were talking about. Let's pull up Polygon. See, why would Dallin be bullish on Polygon? Why has Dallin been bullish on Polygon for so long? Why have I been accumulating since the 68 cent level, even though prices went all the way back up and then all the way back down? Why? Well, it's quite simple. First of all, in our immediate future, Polygon has broken out of both this downtrend level and also we have a little bit of a downward trending resistance right here that we broke above. So these are two examples of downward trending resistance breaking out above. And, you know, we've compared Dogecoin to Bitcoin, but if you actually pull up the S&P 500 here on Polygon, and we drop Polygon down onto the bottom chart, actually the S&P 500 down onto the bottom chart and keep Polygon up here on the top. What you can see here is this exact same market structure. This is called an expanded flat correction played out on Polygon. And it's also played out on the S&P 500. This is called an expanded flat correction. And this phase right here where price starts to break out and then it rejects really hard and comes back down is identical to what's going on in Polygon right now. So the reason why I'm going all in on cryptocurrency is because it's like buying the bottom of a bear market or it's like buying the early signs of a bull market because we're confirming the bottom on many of these projects. So what? Bitcoin made a slightly lower low. Let's look at Bitcoin. Let's check out Bitcoin. And, and let's do a little analysis on the price here, you guys, and see what it's, what it, what's going on here. Because the very first impulsive move that humans are going to do is they say, oh, look, support failed. Let's sell all our crypto. Let's sell all of our crypto. But what I've been telling you, and even before the support level failed, in these videos we discussed, how if the support level fails, 
you guys, now is not the time to sell your crypto. Now is the time to accumulate. If we draw our Fibonacci level from the bottom to the top, you can see that we're already at that 786 level. The 618 is undervaluation, right? We had a huge bounce off that 618 level. Undervaluation, that 786 level, this is where big banks and whales love to buy. And guess what? Every single Bitcoin bear market ever has bottomed out in between the 786 and the 88% retracement between these two levels. Every single one ever. So yeah, we, we may be misunderstood sometimes on this channel. And I'm okay with that because that's not why I make these videos. The reason why I make these videos is to help you guys make money, especially in the big picture. And, and the 786, 88% retracement level of Bitcoin has failed support here on the smaller time frame. Now is not the time to be selling all your Bitcoin to be selling into the dip, that's equally as stupid as FOMO buying the exact top. So just be wise, you guys. Don't be so quick to just, oh, look, the market dropped a little bit. Look how bearish it is. Take a few steps back. Look at the important Fibonacci levels. Stick to your trading plan, which is what I've been doing since day one of this bear market which is begin to buy the 618, buy the 786, and buy the 88%. And anybody that truly knows my trading plan knows that I haven't budged a single inch in this entire trading plan through the entire bear market on Bitcoin, on altcoins. I haven't budged an inch. I've been buying since the 618 down on most every single coin, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and I'm adding to my stack today in fact, I'm so confident that I'm willing to go all in. I'm not going to go all in at once. I'm not going to today put every single U.S. dollar that I own into Bitcoin. But I will start putting my cash reserves in. And, you know, over the next few weeks or so, don't know exactly how long Bitcoin could drop even a little bit more. Who knows? Who cares? But I will tell you that by the end of this move, I will have all of my cash in Bitcoin and it's in preparation for the big picture bull market. And you know, this is, this is how you can take really small amounts of money and turn them into large sums. You know, sometimes, sometimes people ask me, Dallin, how do I make my first million dollars? How do I make my first million dollars? Well, you have to have courage. If you want freedom, you need courage. And if you want courage, you have to do things that are hard and it's hard psychologically to buy the dip and to have the willpower to start buying at the 618, buying at the 786 and buying at the 88%. It's like walking into a cave and trusting that you know where the exit is. Even though you're going to walk five miles through that cave without a flashlight or maybe your flashlight, you know, you can't see from one end of a cave to the other because there's so many turns. So maybe you have a working flashlight, whatever, but you can't see where the exit is and you trust that you're going to get to that exit. If you can have that type of courage, if you can have that type of faith, you can turn $500 into a million. You know, at, at this move from here, from 29,000 all the way up to 68,000, I watched people turn $500 accounts into $250,000 and we were bullish at this level, you know, and yeah, I've seen people move out of their family's house. I've seen people move out of their grandma's basement, right? Because they invested a few thousand dollars at the bottom of a, of a bear market because they had faith. They were willing to start walking through a cave not knowing exactly where the exit is, trusting that there is an exit and just start the journey. And that's how you make money in these markets. It takes courage. It takes faith. You have to buy the dip. You have to be wrong a lot. That's the other thing. You know, you have to be wrong a lot. If this was about being right, then no investor would make money. 
It's not about being right every time. It's about making money. And to be honest with you, you're going to be wrong in the short term all the time. Especially, especially if you are in for the big bucks. Because the big bucks involve you buying the dip. You have to buy the dip. So you, you have to start ranging support levels. 618, 786, 88. And you can't just be like, oh, this is, this is, this is going to be the bottom no matter what. If it fails support, cool. You're going to be wrong all the time, right? If you're trading the big picture. But if you want the real money, if you want the big bucks, then being wrong in the short term is actually a pleasure. I know that sounds counter counterintuitive to a lot of the viewers that watch this. I don't care that I'm wrong in the short term, that I was wrong at 35,000, that this, this failed support right here, that I was wrong, the 18,000 didn't hold support. I don't care. I take pleasure in the fact that Bitcoin is worth $17,300 right now. And is within the same exact range that it's bottomed at every single bottom of every single bear market. That is the psychology of a successful person in these markets. You know, courage and take pleasure in the fact that you get to buy this market undervalued. Don't take pleasure in the fact that you were wrong necessarily, right? But take pleasure in the fact that you can buy this market cheaper than before. And don't, don't base your self-worth on whether you are correct in the short term or not. Base your self-worth on whether you walk away from this market with a million dollars in your bank account or not. Whether you successfully made money. That's the important thing, right? Can't tell you how many successful traders I know are wrong every single day, every single week, all the time. And yet they still have $2 million in their crypto wallets. So you have to change your psychology, you guys, if you want to be successful in these markets. We see a lot of money to be made in Bitcoin. We see a lot of money to be made in Dogecoin as we're breaking out of this downward trending resistance. You guys, this is like buying Bitcoin at $300 before it went to $20,000 per coin. I'm not going to be able to get people to believe me, but I don't care. You know why? Because I am going all in right now. I am going all in right now on Bitcoin. Like I said, not all at once. We're talking crypto, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, BSV, you name it. I'm putting my cash reserves into these markets. So my goal isn't here to convince every 37,000 of my subscribers or 36K or whatever of my subscribers that Dogecoin is going to break its all time high. My goal here is to convince the people that have ears to hear that Dogecoin is going to break its all time high. And for the people that want to listen to me, you know, let's do this together. Let's work as a team. Let's get you that million dollars. Let's get you whatever it is you're looking for. Let's get all that debt paid off. But it's going to take courage. It's going to take buying this dip. And it's going to take, you know, being able to walk inside of a cave without knowing where the exit is, trusting that you're going to find the exit and that you're going to be successful at the end of all of this. And so, yeah, the psychology is really just about buying the dip and having faith in the big picture. And that's how I've consistently made massive sums of, sums of money. It's never been the short term. I've been wrong in the short term a lot. I was wrong in the last bear market a lot. In 2018, 6K, I started buying at 6K, right? We were buying because of three levels, but we still were expecting 6K to hold and it went straight for three. We bought more at three. We didn't let the market squeeze us out. We still ended up buying the exact bottom of the whole bear market, but just understand you're going to be wrong in the short term. So yeah, my goal here today is to help you guys see this opportunity. Look through this market from a lens of opportunity, not from a lens of fear, 
not from a lens of anger, not from a lens of of short-term swings. Oh, if this short-term swing didn't play out, that short, short-term swing didn't play out. Play the big picture, because that is how you turn $1,000 into a million dollars consistently. And that's how you can confidently teach anybody how to do that. Um, but, you know, most people are still gonna go to the wrong places. You can lead people to water but you can't make them drink. So I am going all in on Dogecoin, all in on Bitcoin, all in on the crypto markets, adding to my BSV stack, adding to my Dogecoin stack, and I'm doing that right now. Not all at once, but I'm starting to buy this dip up heavily. Figured I'd let you guys know that, let you aware of the opportunity. Let's work together as a team to ensure that you walk away from this market with profit, stay focused on the big picture, Stop concerning yourself with the smaller time frames. Stop looking at charts and people on Twitter and saying, oh, look, that analysis was wrong or that analysis dropped slightly lower. Technical analysis is not about being right every single time. It's about making money. And the people that make money buy the dip. They buy the big picture dip and they hold on. So yeah, you guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Hope this inspired you guys to add to your positions, to hold on to your positions, to look at this market from the perspective of opportunity. And speaking of opportunity, you guys, we have the one year VIP slash lifetime VIP. So that is the VIP areas where it's the discord signals. You know, you get entries, you get we were buying Dogecoin down here at exactly four cents down here. And you get a lot of entries. And yeah, we've been accumulating the bear market. So we started buying early. We did start to buy early in the VIP, full disclosure, full transparency. Uh, but it's according to our trading plan. And it's according to a trading plan that has worked consistently for years and years and years. And so we're doing exactly what we know works to make money and what we've seen make money over and over again. So the one year is about those signals. Uh, the mastermind coaching obviously comes with all the one year lifetime stuff completely free, uh, but you get to tune in every single Saturday to live sessions. So the coaching structure is really good for people that have to have more of that live kind of structure where they're talking with me, asking me questions, you know, being like, hey, Dallin, why did you buy that before it dropped? <laughs> You know, asking me direct questions if you want to, if you need to. The mastermind coaching is definitely where we can work together on mastering your skills in this market. So you can literally look at this trading view chart and say, hey, look, there's a perfect ABC correction. Let's put some money in. Let's hold and let's walk away from this market with 10, 50 times gains. Takes patience. And it takes people saying, oh, look, that guy's crazy. He's been buying the whole bear market. Who cares, you guys? If you want to change your life, you're going to be mocked a little bit. Um, so, yeah, the one year slash lifetime, the mastermind coaching. These are the two options for you guys. Mastermind coaching contains everything that the one year of the lifetime has. Um, so, yeah, we can get you guys started today. Just send me a message, email in the description or apply for the mastermind program below. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future updates. As always, stay profitable out there.